Hello everyone. My name is Dakshesh Kumar Patel. I am a database consultant here at Amazon Web Services. Amazon Aurora is a highly optimized database service. It's compatible with MySQL and PostgreSQL and it provides scalability, availability and durability for your data. Its standout feature, Amazon Aurora Global Database, lets you replicate your primary database across multiple regions, ensuring worldwide data access with low latency reads and robust disaster recovery. To ensure smooth data access across regions, monitoring the replication of the Aurora Global Database is essential. That's where Amazon CloudWatch Metric Insights comes in. In this video, we will explore how to monitor Amazon Aurora Global Database replication lag at scale using Amazon CloudWatch Metric Insight. Now let's dive into an overview of our solution. We will explore each component as we progress through this video. First, we have a list of Amazon Aurora Global Databases which are replicating from one region to another. In the architecture diagram, you can see that we have three Aurora Global Databases and these databases are replicating from the primary region to the secondary region. Next, we need to closely monitor these replication process. We achieve this by configuring a CloudWatch alarm. This alarm serves as an automated monitor, triggering whenever the replication lag exceeds certain predefined thresholds. When the alarm is triggered, it promptly sends a notification through Amazon Simple Notification Service or in short, Amazon SNS. Amazon SNS notifies users via email and within this email, you will find details that you have configured while creating the CloudWatch alarm. It can also include a link to the CloudWatch dashboard. Following this email notification, for more comprehensive view of what's happening, you can access the CloudWatch dashboard. This dashboard provides detailed information about your Aurora Global Database. In summary, it all begins with Aurora Global Database replication, followed by configuring a CloudWatch alarm to monitor it. When the Aurora Global Database exceeds the predefined threshold, the alarm sends a notification through Amazon SNS, alerting user via email. Finally, the CloudWatch dashboard provides information about which database has exceeded the threshold and other critical details, assisting you in maintaining your Aurora Global Database in excellent condition. Before we dive into setting up the monitoring solution, let's ensure that we have the necessary prerequisites in place. First, you will need an Aurora Global Database. It's where our solution efforts will be focused. Next, you will require an AWS Identity and Access Management account with administrator privileges for the services we'll be using in this solution. This will help to provide the necessary permission to configure and manage monitoring components effectively. Additionally, we will need to set up an Amazon SNS topic. This topic will serve as a communication channel for our CloudWatch alarm to send notifications. Make sure to create the SNS topic and subscribe to it as it plays a crucial role in alerting you when any issue arises during the monitoring process. With these prerequisites in place, we can now proceed to set up our monitoring solution for the Aurora Global Data. Now I have logged in into AWS Management Console and within RDS service, we can see that I have three Aurora Global Database cluster, which are replicating from US West 2 as a primary region to US East 1 as a secondary region. Out of these three Aurora clusters, two clusters are running with MySQL engine and one with PostgreSQL engine. And we will monitor replication lag of all these three Aurora clusters. For that, we will create Amazon CloudWatch dashboard and alarm. Now let's log in into Amazon CloudWatch. Now in Amazon CloudWatch, first 
we will create a CloudWatch dashboard and then we'll create a CloudWatch alarm. For this demo, we'll be creating the CloudWatch dashboard in the secondary region of our Aurora Global Database clusters. That is US East 1 in this case. To create a dashboard, go to the dashboard section and then click on create dashboard. Provide the dashboard name and then click on create dashboard. In add widget page, choose the widget based on your use case and requirement. Here we'll be selecting the line widget and keep the other settings as default. Click on next. On add metric page, go to the query tab. In metrics insert query builder section, choose AWS RDS namespace. In metric name, you can choose metric based on your use case and requirement. Here we'll be selecting Aurora Global DB Replication Lag Metric. In filter by, select the source region of the Aurora Global Database Cluster. In our case, that is US West 2 region. In group by, choose DB Cluster Identifier. In order by, you can choose criteria based on your use case. We'll be selecting descending here. This will help to display Aurora clusters on the dashboard based on descending order of their replication lag time. Click on run and then click on create widget. Now the CloudWatch dashboard has been created. Finally, click on save to save the dashboard. Here on this dashboard, you can see that y-axis represent replication lag time in milliseconds and x-axis represent Aurora cluster in descending order of their replication lag time. For instance, DB test 2 cluster 1 has a highest replication lag and DB test 1 cluster 1 has a second highest replication lag and so on. Here you can adjust the historical time for which you want to see this dashboard. Also you can provide a custom value of the historical time as per your use case. Now we will create the CloudWatch alarm which will help to notify us when any Aurora cluster exceeds the predefined threshold of the replication lag. We will create a CloudWatch alarm within the secondary region of the Aurora Global Database cluster. It's important to understand that this alarm is aggregated, meaning it functions as a unified alarm to oversee all of your Aurora cluster replicating from one specific region to another. Due to its aggregated nature, it won't provide which Aurora cluster has exceeded the predefined threshold. To identify this specific Aurora cluster in breach, we will use the CloudWatch dashboard which we created earlier part of this video. Now to create CloudWatch alarm, go to CloudWatch console in the navigation pan under alarm, choose all alarms and then choose create alarms and then choose select metric. On the query tab, navigate to the query editor. For namespace, choose AWS RDS. In metric name, you can choose metric based on your use case and requirement. Here we'll be selecting Aurora Global DB Replication Lag Metric. In filter by, select the source region of the Aurora Global Database Cluster. In our case, that is US West 2 region. Choose Run and then select Metric. Now on Specify Metric and Condition page, provide the label name. In period, select the appropriate time period. For this demo, we choose five minutes. For threshold type, keep the default value. Now define the alarm condition. For example, if the alarm is greater than 2000 milliseconds, then it will trigger an alarm. Here you can also choose other condition like greater or equal to. Here we keep the greater than condition and our value will be 2000 milliseconds. In additional configuration, you can select data points to alarm and missing data treatment as per your use case. For this demo purpose, we'll keep the default value and then click next. In notification section for alarm state trigger, keep the default value. 
for Amazon SNS section. Choose the SNS topic which you have created as part of the prerequisite of this solution. And then select next on add name and description page. Provide the alarm name. In description, provide details according to your requirement. We will utilize the CloudWatch dashboard URL to quickly access the dashboard whenever an alarm is triggered and when we receive a notification. So in description, we will provide the CloudWatch dashboard URL and then click next. Finally, preview the page and finally click on create alarm. Now the alarm has been created. These aggregated alarm will monitor all the Aurora cluster which are part of this solution at scale. Going forward, if any of your Aurora Global Database clusters included in this monitoring system exceed the predefined application lag threshold, these alarm will send an email notifications via Amazon SMS. If any of your Aurora clusters exceed the predefined threshold, you will receive an email alert. For example, you can see that one of our Aurora clusters has exceeded the threshold, triggering the receipt of an email notification. This notification includes a link to the CloudWatch dashboard that was integrated when setting up the alarm. Follow this link and it will take you to the dashboard. Upon clicking the link within the alarm notification, we land on the CloudWatch dashboard page. As per the dashboard setup, the Aurora cluster are listed here in descending order of their replication lag time. The first Aurora cluster, which is labeled as DB test one cluster one, is the reason for the email alert, as it has the highest replication lag, which exceeds the predefined threshold. Now you can investigate this cluster to figure out why it has caused the alarm. In this video, we demonstrated how to create a CloudWatch dashboard and a CloudWatch alarm by using the CloudWatch metrics inside capabilities. This monitoring setup helps to monitor Amazon Aurora global databases at scale. This monitoring provides a strong database disaster recovery framework for Amazon Aurora global databases. Thank you for watching the video.